us. I know that God is going to do a new thing in this country. But it will not be without the prayers of the saints. If we don't pray, then you will see the very manifestation of God said it and it didn't come to pass. Not because God didn't have the capacity to bring it to pass, but his people on earth that should cooperate with his will to bring it to pass were sleeping instead of praying. Are we together here? If you are here, say amen. amen. So we are going to take our time to pray. All right. We have to pray that the election date is not postponed. Because you know what that means. There can be dubious manipulations behind the scene. But even if it is postponed, let the will of God be done. That is one. Number two, we have to pray against insecurity and uprisings. If not, something more deadlier than answers will happen. If not, something more deadly is when there is peace, there can be election. Are you hearing me? And don't think that you are secured here. The theater command is doing their best. Don't think that you are secured here. Because what the devil wants to do is provoke an uprising from every part of the country. And you and I know that we don't have the security apparatus that is strong enough to keep the 36 states of this nation in peace at one sitting. We don't have it. That's just the truth. So we have to pray. If for nothing, pray for your loved ones that are far in other, in other states and other regions in this nation. And then we have to pray that the will of God will be done consigning not only the presidency, but every position of office as touching the electorate in this country. The job is not going to be for the president alone. Are you hearing me? If you have a good president and you have a corrupt governor, you will still have corruption. If you have a good president, a good governor, and you have counselors of words that are corrupt, forget about it. So it's not just about the president. It's just that the president, the reason why God was interested was because, you know, that's the, the number one seat in this country. And that's because if we get it right at that level, we'll get it right at the other level. We need to pray. This corruption is like a spirit in Nigeria that needs to go. We need to drive it out in any way possible. Because the leaders you are seeing, they, they are from corrupt people. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? So we have to pray. But particularly that the election date is not postponed. Two commercial banks, some automated teller machines, two vehicles have been burned by some youth in Udu near Wari, the commercial city of Delta State, as they protested over the scarcity of the newly redesigned Nara and rejection of the old notes by commercial banks, despite the Supreme Court's ruling stopping the implementation of the CBN policy. Iken Amici has more. Trouble started on Wednesday morning when customers strong banking halls and automated teller machines in Odu but were disappointed to know that there were no new notes and bank refused to accept their old notes. Frustrated by the development, some youths took to the streets blocking Udu Expressway. The protest started in Uruwuri Junction before spreading to the expressway as two commercial banks were set ablaze. The angry mob first vandalized the banks by hauling stones and other objects at the bank premises, leaving customers to scamper for safety. Two vehicles at the premises of one of the banks were set ablaze before security agents intervened. According to the police public relations officer, Edafi Bright, nine suspects have so far been arrested by the police as normalcy returns to the area. He assured the public and the banks of their safety, but commercial banks in Wari, Uwe and Environ shut down operations early. Meanwhile, the Delta State Governor, Ifan Yokoa, has appealed to citizens of the state and Nigerians to remain calm amid scarcity of the new Naira nodes in the country. We are going to agree and insist. The power of corruption will not have its say in this election. Do you agree with me? It's either we pray or the cabals will decide it. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? It's either the intercessors pray or the cabals will decide it. Up till today, some people have not received their PVC. And I next say they have printed all the PVCs. Why? Where is the card? 
the bible says he alone catches the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the cunning comes quickly upon them isaiah 8 verse 10 i think he starts by saying take counsel and it shall come to naught right take counsel together but it shall it will come to nothing speak the word but it will not stand why for god is with us do you be